hello today's topic is google sheets to generate uh, multiple sheets or insert sheets within spreadsheet based on you know column value that uh, is actually within the google form response sheet now what i mean by that yesterday i recorded another video for creating a form a google form which uh, is like this one with multiple section based on you know customer chooses the section uh, for example whether he is buyer or seller then if customer chooses buyer then it will go to buyer section uh, go to buyer section and if he selects uh, i want sell you know then it will go to seller section which is uh, in another section and then this workflow will continue okay <clears throat> so from i think this one is should go to subscription anyway i have to check that again and uh, then i once a customer you know submits the information uh we get data something like this you know uh, all the questions on the first row timestamp and the answers received uh, into this sheet now i have uh, written app script to generate you know based on phone number it can be uh, any other information like buyer or seller or name ordering any or uh, thing you want from the column but for this example i have just considered phone number so for each phone number i will create a sheet now sheets insert sheets like this so what is um, by doing that uh, that we what we'll get uh, we will get uh, you know one sheet per mobile number and if uh, you know one mobile number is uh, uh, multiple time appearing within this response sheet then that will also come under this for example if i fill this information uh, let's see just to um well, let this one i uh, have to fill this information okay so i want uh, this and then i uh, know name any random name i want that phone number it's already uh, there but i want another time so i uh, fill up the mobile number and then boom border papers list and something like this so now I want to submit submit I have submitted the form and this should appear here you see this is uh, coming by this formula filter formula this formula is again uh, <coughs> inserted automatically using the app script yeah I mean that uh, how did I do I wrote a small script which is doing uh, which actually I have done already so it's just um, you know that formula that's fetching the information from the response to sheet and is listed listing here uh, let's go through the script uh, so that uh, it will be much easier to replicate so first two variable is a global variable to actually um, getting the sheet and the SSN uh, source worksheet and then create sheets this create sheet uh, to create you have to run it to automate you have to actually uh, give a, a trigger uh, like hourly or daily uh, but for this moment now uh, just go through the script and we are defining the column name that means which column uh, we are actually taking into consideration for creating the sheet is done this in this line so it's a 
source uh, get range from row number two and this is the column number uh, that i'm taking into consideration that is number four uh, one two three four this is the phone number and then last row minus one because we are starting from number two row and last row <coughs> is the row which is empty this one okay and uh, the row number starting from one it's not from zero um, okay so this is number of row sorry number of row is starting from two okay and uh, last row is eight but minus one is actually seven so number of row seven and one column that is number four number column okay get values so we get all the values within the table and then split because the values are in uh, you know array within array so we are getting the array but uh, uh, because array has only uh, one element in each of this cell it says one element in each this is cell right but when we are reading this cell it is actually reading as array and it has only one value and we are doing that using this uh, formula uh, you know index uh, zero so we are uh, getting the number and then how do we uh, make sure that we create only one sheet per mobile number and doing that uh, we have to do this uh, you know unique number find out the unique number and that's done by set formula and uh, this is the construct uh, for creating unique number i don't want to go to details this is just uh, instruction you can uh, find later and we can log which is just for debugging purpose and then we get the current sheet which is uh, the sheet number this is the sheet current sheet um no here actually we are uh, you know getting all the current sheets number of sheets already there so it's the get sheets this is the form uh, instruction and then uh, <coughs> map so it's a array again and uh, we are getting s get um, all the uh, uh, sheets and map uh, get name all the name okay so all the name are uh, in the uh, what is called array and now uh, unique number unique number and for each unique number we are getting the sheets by name for each um, mobile number mm -hmm. okay so now uh, we want to go through all the mobile number and here get sheet by name here uh, one variable is created now thing is if mobile number is uh, already there in the sheet name that means the sheet name is created by mobile number right so if that exists then uh, there will be some value if not then it will be null null so that means if it is not null not null okay so value is there okay so invert of value uh, invert of uh, that sheet is there that means if null then insert the sheet okay and then set the name equal to the mobile number so we are setting the mobile uh, number uh, as a sheet name each of this and then here is the thing that we are creating formula for this uh, where go? Oh, this one so if this is the formula we are actually creating using you know this uh, small small uh, tiny snippet of you know variable and then 
concatenating all of them to create the formula so that I can actually reproduce many times different kind of formula for this anyway <coughs> then we set the formula into that a2 cell and finally we're copying the header you know a1 to ap1 header um, this is done within a try block and then catch block is in case we come to know any uh, we, we actually uh, um, you know got into error then this will be printed this would uh, really diagon for diagnostic but it should work at this uh, moment so now let me just uh, delete this number so I can reproduce this uh, sheet again uh, let's run this yeah so it's finished yes so you see the sheet is reproduced again and with this uh, two uh, rows of data already imported into this sheet so that way actually we can build a custom uh, reports list and uh, categorize varieties of data within uh, spreadsheet I guess like sales rep by sales representative uh, name or by department you know by accounts we can actually uh, do a lot of stuff with this formula and with this script hope you like it thank you